first and foremost, like, have you guys been watching the NBA preseason? Um, I've been I've been getting a little feel of the NBA preseason. I think yesterday was the first time that we saw Giannis and Lillard on the court at the same time. So, you know, there's been some interesting stuff going on in the preseason. I normally don't watch it too much just because it is a preseason. It's almost like the NFL, uh, whereas like the preseason matters very little, even though it does warm up the teams. But even if you go undefeated, it doesn't really mean anything. Kenny Pickett looked like the next next big thing at quarterback in the preseason. And he's looked all right in the regular season, but definitely not like as good as he looked in the preseason. So anything you see in the preseason, you got to take it with a grain of salt. But what I'm seeing from Wemby, oh my God, what I'm seeing from Wemby is is insane. Like all that potential that people were talking about, I kind of saw it in the in the in the summer league, but not to the extent that we're seeing it in the preseason. Like my my dude is doing Euro steps. My dude is dunking on people. My dude is asking for a lob from the three point line. Like this dude is insane. I think the play that scared me the most was when he's like dribbling on the right side. He's not even looking at the court. He's running left and he just fades away and switches it. That was nasty. At seven four, at seven five, that's a chico. That's insane. You can't stop that. And he looks like he's getting a feel for the NBA now. Like. The scary thing is, my fear is that he kind of has that Luca, that Luca impact right away, where he starts thinking that the the Euro League was a little more difficult than the NBA, which is what kind of Luca was uh, has said in a couple of times. He's like the defense is much harder over there than over here. It's easier to score in the NBA. People heard that and they got like up in arms, like, "Oh, the NBA is the best league in the world. How could you ever say that?" But you know, there might be some validity to it. The NBA rules have have been changing over the last 10, 20 years for the for the offensive player, for someone to be able to get their bucket, for no more hand checking. A lot of no more like the three second rule. I know in Europe, uh, something like that, they're able to stand under the under the hoop more, if I remember correctly, or the international rules. So if Wemby starts feeling that way soon, like it's done. Where he's like Oh, uh, dude, why am, I, why am I even tripping about the NBA? Like, it's 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 easier to score over here than it was in the Euro League. If he starts feeling that, if he starts getting that type of confidence in the NBA, with how he's moving with his dribbles, like it's it's GGS, man. It's over. It's bad for the league. Um, yeah, just looking at just looking at the preseason games, watching some of his highlights, dude looks nasty. He, like, I know he's still not shooting like the best percentage in every game and stuff like that from three and stuff, but just the fluidity of his shot and like being able to pull up from three, like moving left and pulling up from three and just doing stuff like that. It's, it's insane. His potential. If I, I hope he stays healthy, like his body frame still looks very, very uh, like small and fragile, but thankfully or hopefully he has, <clears throat> you know, like the first 10 years of KD's career type of, injury luck you know before he tore his achilles uh kevin durant was pretty much always healthy so hopefully he has that type of career where he yeah he's a little scrawny and he's probably like the smallest guy on the on the court um bulk wise but he's he stays healthy like if his legs stay healthy if, if he if, if his leg holds up his knees his ankles man the the potential for Wemby is literally through the roof it's insane it's insane and i think someone on TikTok said it the best. They were like, I uh, I'm kinda I'm kinda going from being excited for Wemby to being scared. I'm kinda on that boat too. Whereas like I was excited to see, especially with all the hype that was going around, they're calling him like the best prospect ever. And just seeing a little bit of his Euro League highlights and stuff on stuff like that, like when he was abroad. I was excited. I was like, damn, this is gonna be sick if we were to see this type of player actually fulfill his potential. Now that I'm seeing him play in the preseason, I'm like, dude, like Popovich might be, we were kind of seeing Popovich and Bill Belichick kind of go on that same arc where they have these historic runs. They lose their main player or they lose star players. They lose the talent on their team. And now their teams are just doing terrible. And you start going like looking back and you're like, you know, was it Bill Belichick or was it Tom Brady? Like, taking credit away from Bill Belichick. Popovich was going on that same route where it's like, damn, was it really Pop? Or or did uh Ginobili, Parker, and 
Tim Duncan carrying that team for the longest. And then, you know, for a little bit, Kawhi Leonard. Was it them or was it Pop? A little bit of that conversation was coming. Like, why is he, why can't he make, you know, lemonade with these lemons now? Now that he has Wemby, oh, dude, give Pop one more player, one or two more players, and it's bad for the league. It's bad for the league. I'm legitimately, legitimately scared to see what happens with this Spurs team. But we'll see. Could just be the preseason. We'll see. We have to wait to see when we do it in the league. Thankfully, the NBA is almost all the way back, so we won't have to wait that long. But what do you guys think? Is Wemby is Wemby going to be a problem? Like right away? Like from the preseason? My dude looked like a monster. 